Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the gaming channel, Despo. So something really exciting happened this week and we were actually getting our first downloadable DLC character in Overwatch. And that is the character Anna or Farrah's mom. So our first really, really old character in Overwatch. Meaning I'm not really sure if it's a good idea to kill her or not, seeing as though she is a senior citizen. All that aside though, let's check out all of Anna's abilities and see just how good this old wench is. So Anna is first and foremost a support hero. Her weapon, the bionic rifle, both damages enemies from afar and restores health to her allies. So this thing seems super useful. I would say that its downfall is that you do actually have to shoot your allies to heal them, unlike Lucio, who you just need to be near. But I think the reason that Anna is so awesome and unique is that the fact that she is really the first support hero that you don't have to be close to your team to actually support your team. So I think she'll be really, really interesting not only to play as, but also to play against. Her second ability is the sleep dart, which makes an enemy fall asleep immediately, but any damage will wake them up. So this one is super interesting because it apparently also works with heroes using their ultimate. So if a McCree is trying to high noon, Anna can apparently just knock him the fuck out, which is pretty dope. Obviously the same thing can be said about going up against the ultimates of uh, other heroes, including Reaper, Soldier 76, Genji, Pharah, which I guess you'd kind of feel bad about knocking out your own daughter, but hey, Bastion, Roadhog, and Winston. So super useful tool. Uh, if my grandma ever had a sleep dart, I would have been terrified. So this is definitely something you want to watch out for. Next, she has the Biotic Grenade, which deals damage to enemies in a small area of effect. Affected allies briefly receive increased healing, which is super useful. And enemies caught within the blast cannot be healed for a few moments, which is apparently three to five seconds. So this is amazing and extremely useful when dealing with pesky uh, Reinhardt Mercy combos or a lone Roadhog or even a Bastion or a Reaper with Soul Orbs. So extremely, extremely useful. Then the last of her abilities is the Nano Boost. Uh, after Anna hits one of her allies with a combat boost, they temporarily move faster, deal more damage, and take less damage from enemy attacks. Holy shit is that dope. Seeing as though this is her ultimate ability, obviously you can't use it as much as your other abilities, but I don't want to know what's in that dart to make someone do that, but Jesus Christ. Psst, it's math. Anna! She carries around meth. It's true though. All in all though, Anna seems like a really decent hero and uh, really well balanced I would say at this point, even without knowing how much health she has. As far as her playstyle, it does seem like it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, seeing as how she's sort of a mix between Widowmaker, Zenyatta, and Lucio all in one super decrepit body. Uh, she does seem like a hero that you do have to take out quickly, otherwise she escalates very quickly and is capable of annihilating morale on the enemy team, especially when you know you're being beat by a senior citizen. I mean, just think about that a senior citizen is beating us up like hey guys we can take this point think again fuck turns <laughs> god damn it it is also worth mentioning that anna does seem like a great counter for a lot of offense heroes uh in their ultimate abilities so if the meta ever shifts to favor them she does seem like a top pick for dealing with them also what's interesting about her sleep dart is that it doesn't really say if the hero ever wakes up if they don't take damage but i assume they do otherwise you know it would be completely broken uh, but i'm just sort of wondering if she could just use it as a getaway tool if she's ever caught off guard or if it just sort of wears off after like two seconds. Regardless though, she does seem like a really fun hero to play as, um, even though, you know, she is an old fucking lady, so I guess the sexiness factor of you playing her isn't really there. But, you know, I guess it is kind of sexy to be an old lady and beat the shit out of people, so there's that. But that is gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you'd like to see more Overwatch content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and also comment down below what you'd want to see. That said, guys, I will see you next time, and fair wins.